hello there in this tutorial i'll walk you through how to download and set up your folio to line planner in GoodNotes 6 on mac our planners come in different designs and styles regardless of which planner bundle you purchase the download and setup process is pretty much the same most of our planners now have calendar integration make sure you choose the correct link to download the version you need the link will open up a page like this Simply download now. Wait until the download icon at the top right corner to finish downloading. It will open up your downloads folder and you can see a zip file and its unzip folder here. If you can't see the unzip folder, double click on the zip file and it will just auto unzip. Double click on the folder and you'll see the planners here. You may see different planner files depending on which planner package you bought. If you're looking for a specific layout, you can change the list view to see the file name. I generally label the file name in a way that you can easily find the one you need. So for example, this one is a 2025 planner with balanced daily layout, Apple calendar integration, and the weekly start date is Monday. Now open your GoodNotes. If you can't find your GoodNotes app, you can hold down the control key and the space key together to bring up Spotlight Search and type GoodNotes. Now let's go back to the planner folder we downloaded. Let's choose this planner, right click on it, open with, choose GoodNotes. You can also click on the plus button in GoodNotes to import the planner to GoodNotes. If these download links aren't working for you, you can try the Google Drive link and navigate the folders to find the planner version you need. Now we have the planner open in GoodNotes 6. First, to make the hyperlinks work, please make sure you click on the pen icon at the top center here to turn on the read-only mode like this. On the copyright page, you may see some info about the calendar integration. Make sure you read this to properly install the shortcuts for the calendar integration. For full demo on how to use the calendar integration, you can check out the video link in the description. If you can't see anything about the calendar integration, that means the planner you currently on does not have this feature. You can just skip this step. Now, I'll quickly go through how to navigate the planner. Here's the index page where you can go to the lifestyle templates such as wellness, nutrition, notes templates, custom sections. You can also go to these pages by clicking on these icons at the top right corner. On the right side, you can click on these tabs to go to the yearly calendar and monthly calendars. And on the monthly calendar, you can tap on the dates to go to the daily planning page. And you can tap on the week numbers to go to the weekly planning page. From the weekly planner, you can tap on the dates to go to daily planner where you can tap on the view week button to go back to weekly planner. And at the bottom right corner, you can jump between weekly planner, weekly schedule, weekly reflection, and weekly meal planner. For a complete guide to how to navigate the planner, you can check out this video. I've included the video link in the description. Next, I'll show you how to import sticker book. Let's download the stickers like we did with the planner. Just open it in GoodNotes in the same way we open the planner. One thing I want to point out here is that make sure you choose import as new document to import a sticker book to GoodNotes. If you choose import to current document, the sticker book will import right into the planner, which obviously is not what we want. The same goes for when you open another planner while you are on the planner. Make sure you choose import as new document, otherwise the two planners will be merged into one document. The sticker book includes essential stickers in five colors, plus
plus some extra stickers. To use the stickers, click the lasso tool. Select the sticker and click copy. Go back to the planner and paste. Now let me show you how to use the free 10,000 stickers that come with the planner. We'll save the stickers to the elements tool of GoodNotes. First, choose the stickers you like or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. Command and A to select all the stickers. Right click, share, add to photos. Now go back to GoodNotes, click on the elements tool. Click on the little plus button here to create a new collection for the stickers. Add photos. Click on the first sticker. Scroll down to the bottom. Hold down the shift key and click on the last sticker. This way, you can select all the stickers. Then you can add the other stickers to the planner with elements like so. You can also use the split view so that you can better navigate the stickers and find the one you need and drag the sticker to the planner like so. Next, I'll show you how to change the cover of the planner by which you can learn how to delete, copy and paste pages in GoodNotes. Let's download the covers like we did with the planner. Choose import as new document. Let's choose a cover. And click on three dots, copy page. Go back to the planner. Go to the index page and navigate to the cover page. Choose move page to trash to delete the existing cover. And click on the four little squares icon at the top left corner. Click on the down arrow on the copyright page, add page before, and paste page. There you go. We have a different cover for the planner. Now you are all set for the planner. I'll use a simple example to show you how to use the planner with some basic tools in GoodNotes. Let's do some time blocking on the daily schedule on the daily page. Let's choose the pen tool. Adjust the stroke thickness. Choose a pen color. Draw a rectangle. And hold the pen tip until you get a perfect rectangle. We can use the lasso tool to adjust the position of the rectangle. To type in the planner, make sure you select the text tool under the right mode. This lets you type freely in the planner. You may notice a keyboard icon at the top center, which is type mode. It's for full page typing. The title comes first and the paragraphs and so on. So obviously, we don't want to use the type mode to type in the planner. To delete the text, 
Don't use the eraser, which only removes the content created with the pen or highlighter. Instead, you select the text tool again, right click on it, delete. Well, I've made a comprehensive tutorial for GoodNotes 6. Make sure you check out that tutorial if you are new to GoodNotes. If you are an experienced user, check out the tips and tricks part. You may find something useful. Thank you so much for supporting 42Line. I'll see you in my next video.